In this section, I'm going to talk about dogs with low food drive. It's not uncommon uh, for new dog trainers to tell us, my dog loves a toy, but he doesn't like food. And what we tell people is that uh, a lot of dogs may act in the beginning like they don't have a lot of interest in food, but there are a lot of things that you can do to manipulate your dog's food drive. Uh, Daisy here, uh, we rescued her. She's a Shih Tzu when she was 10 years old. She's 11 years old now. When we first got her, she didn't have a big interest in food. Now she's a food hound. How did we do this? Well, you can manipulate your dog's food drive by letting them fast for 24 or 48 hours. Some people may think 48 hours, boy, that's a long time. Nah, not really. It's not gonna kill them to go 48 hours. And after 48 hours, if you use a high value food reward, and by high value, I mean pieces of cheese, little pieces of cheese, uh, little pieces of steak, little pieces of hamburger, not dog biscuits, high value food rewards. You're gonna see a drastic difference in that dog's food, uh, in, his, in that dog's food drive. You also, I mean, the other end of that spectrum is, you need to train with food when the, dog's not, when the dog is hungry. So you don't feed the dog and then go out and try and train him. Train him before he eats. Now, we feed Daisy at, <laughs> we feed Daisy at 8.30 in the morning, every morning, and we feed her at 5.30 at night. She has a clock in her head. And at a quarter after eight in the morning, she's gonna come and get me and tell me I'm hungry and I wanna eat. At a quarter after five in the afternoon, she comes and gets me and starts dancing around because she wants to eat. So the time to train is at eight in the morning or 4.30 or five at night. Use your dog's internal clock. Uh, what else you can do is if you feed multiple times a day, or even if you feed one time a day, reduce the ration and if you feed twice a day, just give them a little bit in the morning. And then in the afternoon, the rest of the food that it gets that day comes from food games. So, I mean, I know some people with low drive dogs that all the food that that dog got came from food games. They just divided it out, they had their dog bowl, they knew how much the dog should eat so that it wouldn't get fat. And then that food, they raised the value of the food by feeding them a a kind of food that the dog likes more, and then turned it into food games. It's just a matter of using a little bit of common sense with your dog, and, uh, and the food drive will come. A lot of times you can go out and play food games with your dog. You can take high value food rewards, pieces of cheese, little pieces of meat, and toss them when the dog's hungry. Toss them, let the dog chase them. When the dog's feet move, the drive goes up. So. Toss the food, restrain the dog, hold her back, say, you want it, you want it, go get your food. And it just builds drive in the dog. Hold your food and, and uh, in the following weeks, we're gonna show you how to hold food and deliver it as a food reward. Some dogs are real snippy in how they take food. So if you have a dog like that, we're gonna show you how to hold the food, but you can let the dog chase your hand around. You can manipulate the dog's uh, body and making him move like that builds drive. You can take and make a game out of it by holding food in your hand and running with the, with the dog so that it has to chase your hand. Movement builds drive in the dog. So just reduce, just train when the dog is hungry. Um, and there's all the different things that I just talked about to make the dog more hungry. And I think what you'll see is over time that drive will come quicker and quicker and quicker. Sometimes, like Cindy's dog Rush, when he was a puppy, he didn't have a lot of food drive. And then as training went on, and the dog learns to, that interaction with you and engagement with you is fun, then they build more food drive, because they enjoy training. This is not the old avoidance method of training where the dogs go out and they hate to train. We're gonna show them that training is fun that engaging with us is fun, that really we're turning training into a game and they enjoy it. They look forward to training. 
And that's what we want to do. And if we do it right, the food drive will come with it.